And welcome to day 19 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day 37 in the Eastern Pacific, and we currently have a few systems um, of interest in the Northern and Southern Hemisphere. Um, tropical Depression 2 still going near the Gulf of Mexico, um, uh, Tropical Storm Leapy in the uh, Western Pacific, and 2 Invest 94W in the South China Sea, and 97S, which has just formed to the south of Indonesia in the um, Indian Ocean. So let's take a look at the latest satellite imagery then. You can see um, both systems in the Western Pacific here, uh, Tropical Storm Leapy, which is currently a minimal tropical storm, 40 miles per hour, and Invest 94W in the South China Sea. Both of them expected to move towards a general northerly direction over the next few days, um, and neither of them expected to intensify, at least uh, not that much anyway. And we have Tropical Depression 2 in the Atlantic, currently undergoing um, its passage through the Yucatan Peninsula, and is likely to emerge in the southern Gulf of Mexico uh, very soon, in the next few hours probably. And, and there, thereafter it's got a, a moderate chance of forming into a tropical storm, but uh, the odds are against it just a little bit at the moment. And we also have Invest 97S, which is in the Indian Ocean, that was classified not too long ago, and that currently has a low chance of development um, in the next two days. So looking at the latest uh, sea surface temperature information, waters off the eastern Pacific coast, uh, Mexico, Mexican coast rather, are still very warm, around 30 degrees or more. The same two now appearing on the Louisiana and Texas coast as well, um, and parts of Cuba as well, seeing warm waters off the coastline here. Um, in the northern Bay of Bengal, still warm waters here, 30 degrees or more. And in the South China Sea, with the, all the tropical activity over there recently, waters are cooling down just a little bit to around 29 degrees and 30 degrees. Currently where Tropical Storm Leapy is right now. Um, Imong is the Philippine name, Leapy is the international name. Currently with winds of 40 miles per hour and a pressure of 996 millibars. Its current position 19.8 north, 126.5 east and is expected to... Um, um, pa pass very close to the Japanese islands and then eventually the mainland um, as a tropical storm very soon in the next uh, three or four days. And of course with Japan not having such a great time at the moment with lots of uh, flooding concerns, especially towards the northern coastlines of the country, this will certainly be of no help and will certainly not be any welcome news. Uh, but that is what's occurring, a tropical storm curving off to the north and then towards the east past the Japanese coastline, probably nearest to the south coast more than anything. Already we have gale advisories in effect for Miyako, Yoyama and Okinawa Islands um, on the, along the Japanese chain islands there you can see between Japan and Taiwan uh, those areas currently under gale advisories and those are likely to expand further north as the storm draws closer so let's take a look here's Tropical Depression 2 currently situated um, sort of in the Atlantic but over land at the moment over Mexico and is likely to emerge over the southern Gulf of Mexico and not for a very long time only for around a day or so before curving back into the Mexican coastline on the other side of the Gulf of Mexico there, um, on, on that area of the Bay of Campeche. Um, and it's not likely to go any further than Tropical Depression, but it is still a possibility that we could see Tropical Storm Barry out of this system. 30 miles per hour, 1,009 millibars at the moment. So here's the latest satellite imagery then. You can see the Western Pacific uh, satellite here, both systems, um, Tropical Storm Leapy and also um, Invest 92, which is currently, uh, sorry, Invest 94, which is currently located in the South China Sea to the west of the Philippines, and of course Leapy, which is moving north. You can see how far it moves over this 24-hour period almost. I think it's about 20-hour periods this satellite imagery is taken from. And Tropical Depression 2, you can see it forming here, um, moving across the Yucatan Peninsula. Um, and towards the end of this loop, you can see the center um, starting to become just a little bit more um, defined, perhaps, uh, as it moves towards the coast of Mexico and will very soon be over open uh, over the uh, Gulf of Mexico waters. And we also have the floater imagery here of Invest 97S. You can see um, it very interesting to see if this one maintains its current a uh, burst of um, cloud cloudiness there at the moment and is moving ever so slowly towards the Indonesian coast. You can see it just off to the very top right of that image um, and it will be interesting to see if that forms because obviously it's very much off season over there at the moment. So here's the computer models, the CMC you can see quite clearly uh, two systems forming in the uh, eastern Pacific and it also has perhaps a little bit of a system over in the Atlantic um, skirting the east coast and perhaps um, making a closer run to uh, North Carolina. Uh, the ECMWF model is fairly similar as well um, in some respects that it does have a tropical storm forming in the eastern Pacific toward, uh, especially towards the middle and later stages of that run and certainly seems rather large and perhaps um, 
quite intense as well, at least to hurricane status anyway. The GFS model um, is uh, predicts something at the very end there, you saw, um, but doesn't really predict anything in the short term in the eastern Pacific. It also showed just about, you could have seen um, the Tropical Depression 2 at the moment, and that's not likely to intensify into a tropical storm according to the GFS. The NavGem you can see here um, is quite uh, not as clear but does predict a little bit of a storm forming in the eastern Pacific towards the end of that run. The GFDR model in, in operation at the moment because of um, Tropical Depression 2 doesn't really um, predict much from it, more than the Tropical Depression at least anyway, and it's likely to dissipate over the Mexican coastline. The HWRF um, is a little bit more generous, predicting it to perhaps minimal tropical storm status as it goes over waters, but obviously not lasting long, and both those models predicting systems in the eastern Pacific as well, so it seems that that's a likely possibility over the next few days. And with the formation of Tropical Storm Leapy in the western Pacific, that means that we, uh, a lot of people's scores go down one or two points. Ken down 107, down from 108, Typhoon Bopa with 100 down from 101, and Hurricane Melissa 20 is 98 points down from 99 in the previous update. That's the top three at the moment. You can submit your own storm totals at the website force13.com forward slash interactive, and then you can just press the 2013 predict a season button, and that will take you straight to the submission form um, where you can submit your own storm totals for this year. It's not too late at this stage, and it won't be too late for a while yet, but um, the earlier the better, in my view. Uh, June the 19th, on this day then, 1972, Hurricane Agnes made its landfall near Panama City, Florida, as a Category 1 storm. Tropical Storm Anna forming in the Central Atlantic in 1979, Blas dissipating in the Eastern Pacific the year after. Um, Tropical Depression 3 also dissipating that same year. In 1982, Tropical Depression 5 dissipating in the Eastern Pacific. Christina peaking as a Category 2 storm in the Eastern Pacific, and a few more that I couldn't read out in time. Um, in 1990, Douglas forming in the Eastern Pacific, Hurricane Adrian dissipating in 93, Beatrice making landfall near Puerto, uh, Puerto uh, Escondido, Mexico, causing six fatalities and $1.7 billion in damages. In 1998, Depression 2 forming in the Eastern Pacific, and in 2001, Tropical Depression Dana dissipating in the Western Pacific on June the 19th. Um, also in 2001, Tropical Storm Chebby formed in the Western Pacific. In 2009, Tropical Depression 1 dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. In 2011, Tropical Storm Beatrice formed in the Eastern Pacific. In 2012, last year, Typhoon Guchol turned post tropical in the Western Pacific. And of course, Chris completed its tropical transition and is operationally classified as a tropical storm on June the 19th, 2012, on this day. And don't forget you can track any storm that forms on the Force 13 website, force13.com forward slash storm tracking.html. That includes Tropical Depression 2, um, Tropical Storm at Leapy, and of course the two Invest, Invest 94W and Invest 97S currently out in the world at the moment. Um, and you can search on the website basin by basin, go more in depth to see the current tracking information, the storm forecast, uh, graphical forecast as well for the storms. Um, and of course any warning information when that becomes relevant obviously we might have some tropical storm warnings perhaps in the Atlantic from Mexican coastlines if um, Tropical Depression 2 decides to intensify once it gets above open waters again and of course uh, the associated warnings, the gale advisories and uh, rainfall advisories as well will probably see in Japan over the next few days from Tropical Storm Leapy. Um, and of course you can follow the social pages, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, just search Force 13, you should find us fairly easily enough and don't forget to show your support by liking, following, favouriting and subscribing. I'll get it in different orders every single time I say this, but uh, hey, at least it gets out. And um, thank you very much. It's much appreciated um, for all the support that I do indeed receive. Thank you very much. And the next bulletin will be coming up at the same time tomorrow, the Tropical Weather Bulletin. That would be on Thursday, the 20th of June, 2013. That would be, um, that's tomorrow, of course, around midnight UTC. And if necessary, there will probably be a Tropical Storm update for Leapy or even Tropical Depression 2 during the day tomorrow.